Hey guys, it's me again. Today we've got some pieces from MJ Mods once again. They were so kind to send me out some pieces. So today we're going for uh, a front lip, which we've got down there, which we will be unboxing soon, and some side skirts that will go across the side. I think they'll look pretty good. Once again, um, we've got them in the gloss black, not the carbon fiber. And let's see how this goes. Just before we get into the tutorial, a huge thanks to Jag for letting me use his garage. If you remember my previous video, I pretty much had no tools, so be sure to check him out on Instagram if you want to see some 2 Series content. So just as I'm unboxing it, you'll notice it comes in 3 pieces, which you'll have to put together yourself before you can secure it properly onto your car. Now, lucky for us, it does come with some screws and 3M tape that makes putting it together a hell of a lot easier. So for the first step, you just want to attach the two side pieces onto the main lip and that can be done with the screws that come with. Slight change of plans, the screws that came with will not secure the side pieces onto the main lip. So what we went ahead and done was head down to Bunnings, which is any sort of regular hardware store and got some nuts, bolts and washers and that will definitely help put it all together. So as you'll see, the two side pieces as well as the main lip will have pre-drilled holes and if you just place them on top, they should line up perfectly. Once the holes are all lined up, grab a washer, place it over the bolt and insert it through one of the holes from beneath and just tighten it into place with the nut. So all together, there'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 holes on both sides so you just want to repeat that last part 16 times. Alright, we've got all eight nuts, bolts and washers in on both sides, so next what we're going to do is take the 3M tape that comes in the box and we're just going to line it up on the inside so that it can stick down nicely to about this part of the bumper on both sides. Then after putting the 3M tape on both sides where it's going to connect to the bumper, it should look something like this. After you've put on the tape, Peel it back a little and fold it up, making a crease so that once you've positioned it correctly on the bumper, it'll be easy to stick down and remove the red part. And again, just do that on both sides. So the lip will already have six pre-drilled holes that'll line up with the holes that are already under the front bumper and you'll just need to fasten some screws and washers through them. They'll secure the lip from the bottom and the 3M will basically secure it from the top. If the holes don't line up, you might have to drill in some new ones or just adjust it to make it work, but mine was fine. If you have a jack or jack stands, it definitely helps setting it up before you put the lip on, just so that there's a bit of space for you to work on, but if you don't, I'm sure it'll be fine too. Moving on to the screws, I had two of these self-tapping screws or plugs or I don't know what you want to call them, but they were already under my car, so I'm just reusing them for holes one and six, and I'll just use the regular screws and washers for holes two, three, four, and five. So right now we've got one reused screw there, a new one here, and it's mirrored on the other side. So we've got the reused screw here, and the other one next to it will be a new one but we still need to fit two more in the middle and as you can see, it's still pretty wonky there without them. So once we screw the new ones in, it'll hold nicely. Just before we put two screws into the middle part, uh, we went ahead and pulled the tape off. So feel free to also do that at any time from this point onwards. I made the mistake of using screws that were way too short for the middle holes three and four. So make sure you don't make the same mistake as me and remember to use longer ones where you can, even where I reused the existing ones under the car. Once you've fastened all six of them, it's all done and it should be looking pretty good.
All right, so that was the front lip on the F36 chassis. That'll also work on the F32 and the F33. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see the side skirts on the car and see you next time. Four to six days later. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. You're going to miss your front lip. No. No.